What's going on, Peep Senior Juice Believer here, and I am back, and here's that update on that ridiculous ABS sensor issue that some nonsensical individual buggered up, but by the grace of God, plan on getting this fixed up today. So, when you go to remove an ABS sensor on one of these second-gen Xterras, check this out, peeps. Just disconnect the caliper, slide it out of the way, all right, prop it up there, and then... That leaves you access to get to the sensor, which would be mounted right there. Bada bing, bada boom, you can pull that out. This is the new one, as you can see. And uh, so here was the botched job that some ding dong did, and I can't figure out why yet for the life of me. I just don't understand it at all. Anyway, this was my attempt to splice in here, keeping some extension wire because they cut the socket out, so removing that socket left this to this length of the wire that goes up to uh, the ABS and computer and all that um, left it very short. So I was trying to maintain as much length as I can. However, it did not work. But anyway, I'm going to cut this out of here and get this properly addressed. Hopefully this shall resolve the issue. So I will be back with an update here directly. All right, peeps, here is the final update on this Xterra. So basically what I have determined is I have good wires from the ABS control module here over to where it mounts in over here. So all of that is good. Um, basically it's just looking like the module. This component back here which is actually side that's affected is the white and black wire right there so not sure but it would seem that this module is taking a poo um, I don't know I'm half tempted to take some 14 or 16 gauge wire and potentially splice into here and just run it to the sensor to see uh maybe maybe that's the problem i don't know it could be a voltage issue just really really not sure on this one and of course i don't have the bazillions of dollars that you have to have to be a mechanic anymore and buy tools galore and just all the specialty garbage because the industry has become so convoluted it's rather obnoxious honestly because i can't just help people out and keep people running up and down the road safely you know because thanks automotive industry for not giving a darn about the humans who's operating these i don't know four or five thousand pound killing machines up and down the road you know but y'all don't care do you it's really frustrating that after 20 plus years of doing this that this is what it's come to that an individual can't purchase tools simple tools to repair a vehicle to ensure that the vehicle travels the highway safely you know what i i pray that the manufacturers repent and turn to jesus because otherwise guess what automotive manufacturers your blood is not on my hands on that great day of judgment when god judges you for doing this to people and forcing them to go pay exorbitant amounts of fees at some stupid stealership to have their automotive woes remedied it's obnoxious it, it is extremely extremely frustrated now i see why jesus was so frustrated with the pharisees and scribes because when i work on vehicles i feel like i'm dealing with pharisees and scribes seriously all right anyway that's my update that's my rant take it or leave it don't really care i have jesus if you don't have jesus that's on you your blood will not be on my hands repent and believe